Hi everybody and welcome to Hope Month. You know, I was just thinking I never really go into Abel's anymore to look for new clothes and after getting dressed this morning, I think I need to go shopping. <laughs> Let's go see what they have today. Hello, Mabel. Let's take a look in the dressing room. Oh boy, the comedian's outfit. Oh, we really hit the gold mine today, didn't we? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I think I'll take the fitness tank. And what is that? A Western shirt? A uh, new? No, no. Hmm. Maybe some jogging shorts. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute, though. <laughs> and let's see. I like it. It's three quarter sweatpants. Yeah, we'll stick with the jogging shorts this time. And, um, there's the cowboy hat. No, running tights. Ooh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I guess we could get all decked out in some Western stuff today. But we'll just take that. And we do not want to wear it. Yay, she'll send that home. Well, it's about time we got around to buying something. Of course, we still have our designs back here. <laughs> which, which, I'm, I'm just saying, there are designs. I'm not going to judge them one way or the other. We have seen our neighbors wearing most of them. I'm not sure if I've seen anybody wearing the Hope, Hope Mont t-shirt yet with the beautiful dove on it. But we'll have to keep our eyes open. All right. Bye, girls. <laughs> and I really, another thing I would like to get accomplished today is to see the inside of Tia's house. And, of course, she's not home again. But here comes Rattle for some tea. He's got a donut. And he's going to pick up some tea. I think he's liking his new neighbor a lot. Amigo, I like running into you. Hey, and there, Rattle is wearing the Hope Month Sunshine Tank today. So he is all decked out. It matches him quite well. <laughs> Let's chat. I overslept a little today, but that's cool. It gave the bugs in my house some extra quiet time. Awesome. Where is that Tia? I'm not at home right now. Well, that's all the clue we get. But we'll try to catch her later. I really want to see the inside of her house. We had a camper yesterday. And... Hmm, I think I have a... Next time we... Next time we get our construction hat on, I think we have a... Um, couple of spots back here for our dotted line that we'll need to get rid of. Anyway, um, we had a camper in the campsite yesterday. It was a blue elephant. I can't remember their name, but they were an exercise guy. And I don't really want to have an exercise person on here. I mean, I've had them and they're and they're fine, but if I don't have to choose one, I'm not going to. <laughs> so, um, let's pick up a few weeds. I see that Rattle still hasn't mowed his grass. <laughs> yes, I guess that's not one of his, I'm not Rattle, Spork. I guess that's not one of Spork's favorite things to do. But he does still have his snacks out here by his fire pit, so he's a happy camper. <laughs> and Plucky is still running her egg. 
um, farm. Let's see, she sent me something in the mail. And she said it was given to her a long time ago by a friend of hers. And now she's done with it, so she's going to pass it off on to me. Let's see what it is. A tool bag. Awesome, look at that. It's a tool bag. Well, <laughs> we'll carry that. You never know when you're going to need a wrench or a hammer or a screwdriver. Okay, let's see. We're picking up some weeds today. Um, here's another dotted line. And we can, well, we can kind of leave that until we do the next acre. Um that'll help us match because the line will be here for the next acre so that'll help us i guess we'll leave that there for the time being let's check in on our bamboo folk art center i think we've had a lot of visitors in here oh and there's a praying mantis we'll go ahead and catch it since our pockets are so empty Yeah, we'll have to check and see what our Nook Miles goals are for today. Um, catch fish, plant trees or shrubs, spend bells to buy items, earn bells by selling items, and do group stretches. Hmm. Well, that's another thing we've been neglecting is our group stretches. <laughs> There's a stink bug. I'm really happy with the way the bamboo acre turned out. Oh, there goes a balloon. Let's see if we can get it, I guess. This will be our morning for chores. Oh, you know what? We don't even have a slingshot anymore. Oh, boy. Let's check our... Um, Shed real quick. Uh, maybe I have one in there because um, I don't have time to go over to Nooks. Oh, uh, yep, we've got one. Oops. Colorful slingshot. Let's see if the balloon is still around. Probably we... Nope, oh, there it is. Maybe we can get it. There's a good chance it'll fall into the water. <laughs> oh, let's see where it's at. Yeah, I think if we shoot it here, it's going to fall into the water. I don't know. No, we got it. Hooray. Let's see what that is. A hanging light bulb. <laughs> A hanging light bulb. All right. We've been trying to encourage people to come and sit in the throne. I haven't seen anybody over here yet. Now, this is Acre 16. This is our next project, and we're probably going to start on it today. So, here's the way it goes. Alright, we're going to look at our chart, and this is what it says. For acre 16, we have K, 2, and 5. And K is cooking and crafting. 2 is a bridge and it has a star by it that's for terraforming only but uh, as a qualifier there is a little bridge that you can use that doesn't require terraforming so we may look into that and five is one cliff so we have to have a bridge we have to have cooking and crafting, and we have to have a cliff. So, no neighbors, no shops, 
just a straightforward acre like the bamboo acre was. Now we could um, extend the cliff over here because if you look back here, this um, square is our line for the divider. So this all is part of the acre for 16. And then it comes down to the front right here halfway through resident services. So it's a weird shaped acre, but cooking and crafting and a bridge. So we'll have to really test our skills for this one and see what we can come up with. So I think we can make a nice little cooking and crafting area over here with some little um, some little accessories like a bridge or something <laughs> I don't know we'll have to see now I did order some of the little bridges I ordered some of the little non river bridges that you can get um, at, at uh, the nook shopping and I also ordered a cheese just because it's that time of year I guess um, if we put one of those bridges down oh and it's sideways it's a sideways bridge I was hoping that it could go you know <laughs> from the airport to um, resident services but it's just a little sideways bridge and you can't cross it or anything um, it's just supposed to be decorative so it's like a little bridge over the pond purely decorative and I see it's got a little sign on it <laughs> that probably says do not enter <laughs> so hmm you know I'd almost like just a real bridge for something um, cooking, crafting. We could divide it with a little river and put a couple of bridges on it or one bridge and have cooking in one area and crafting in the other. That would be nice and by the way, uh, I just remembered something. Let me get my shut out again. And it was something that Tia said the other day when we were talking to her for the first time. And she was saying something about how it was nice. She liked hanging her clothes outside or something. She liked um, the fresh smell or something. And I thought how nice it would be if we could get some clotheslines for her and put them in her backyard. Yeah, I think so. Let's, um, I'm not sure what these all look like, but let's see what they look like while we have them here. Clothesline. Oh, that's the hanging light bulb. Okay, no. clothesline and clothesline okay so I don't think these look like anything that Tia would wear <laughs> because um, yeah they're pretty dull I wonder <laughs> we're gonna try to we're gonna let me get my uh, workbench out and we'll see and we'll have to try to customize some workbenches too if we're gonna have to have crafting and cooking we're gonna we're gonna have to have a really cool workbench anyway let's see if we can do something with these um, clothes customize let's see we need to have it 
bright for? Not plain. Oh, it's only changing the one shirt. A carrot. Oh boy, an accustomed design. I don't really think I have anything that Tia would wear as far as a design. She could match the wallpaper. She could match the cherry uh, scenic lookout. <laughs> she could have a cherry recipe. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, how about the lace? She could have a lace shirt that matched her walkway. Uh, love. <laughs> I don't think. I know she likes yellow. Maybe we'll just do the yellow. If that's all we get, if that's all we can change, then we'll put the yellow shirt on there. Okay. Let's see what else. Because, ugh. All right, let's see. We already had one customized. <laughs> and it, that looks pretty horrible, so. Um, ooh, yeah. Okay. Blue stripes. Let's do a pattern. And let's say... She seems to like yellow and blue. Ooh, that's rather loud. Um. No, that's not any good. That's not any good. Oh, here we go now. She'd probably like that. Or that. Let's do the smaller pattern. We'll do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, are you serious? Uh, I only have one. Ah, uh, all right. Phooey. Okay, I ran over and got some customization kits so we could get this squared away. Oh, it's already picked. We'll, we'll switch over to that one. All right. And then one more. We'll go with the yellow one here. Okay. All right. So now the next time we're back there to see if she's home, we can give her some clotheslines. Hooray. And um, we'll just leave that out for now because we are going to be... working on this area and we'll need our workbench and our shed <laughs> all right so now i guess um hmm those little bridges cost me a lot of bells but <laughs> i don't think i'm going to use them so um yeah, let me think about this. Let's get our construction hat on. Oh, we did um, get one of our Nook goals by going and buying a bunch of customization kits. Sell items, catch bugs. Alright, let's get our hat on.
All right, so first thing I'm going to try is just a a river that's across just from corner to corner, say. You know, from, say, here. To the other corner. Nah. Not that one. Let's see. Say to this corner. Yeah. I guess it's not easy to do a diagonal river. Let's see if we can get her done though. All right. We're trying to do the sideways river. <laughs> it's not, it's not cooperating. You have to go about it in a weird kind of way. And I don't know um, how wide it'll have to be in order to have a bridge across it. But let's see. We're going to make that a little wider. Make that a little wider. Okay. Alright, let's see. Okay, so um, I think this might work as far as, well, yes, we can put a diagonal river across the acre. Um, whether it's something we want, <laughs> it's another story. But let's keep on with it. You know, I don't know that we can put a river. We, oh, we're not going to even be able to put a diagonal bridge we might be able to do a diagonal river but we're probably not going to be able to do a diagonal bridge well that's interesting because it has to be on the straight and narrow doesn't it <laughs> hmm. Yep, it has to be up or down. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. So... Let's see. Oh, 
Alright, and then... This is going to have to fill in a little bit. And then this is going to have to... <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah, it's going to have to what? Okay. Okay. Let's go look at that. <laughs> this is going to be weird. Is that going to be too wide? I think we're going to have to... Yeah, let's go Let's go get Tom Nook to give us a bridge. I got so excited about having a diagonal bridge, <laughs> a diagonal river, that I forgot that the bridges probably can't go diagonal. So, we're going to try to put the bridge here. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's try again. Oh, wow. That's really wide, though. Uh, okay. Here's what we'll do. Huh. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. Um, we'll make it wider on this side. No, not that one. We'll make it wider on this side because it's near resident services. I don't know. Let's let's try this. All right. So, and then we're gonna have to. I don't know if I really want it to go. Oh boy. Hmm. I think if. Oh, blah, blah, blah. If we can get it in there. <laughs> it's not going to look very diagonal once we get done, is it? Uh, I guess not. Um, let's see. Huh. Curses foiled again. <laughs> let's see. No. The land on either side should be even. The land on either side should be even. All right, so we're going to have to dig, put there, and we're going to have to come out here. I don't think this is going to work, but let's let's just keep trying. Let's see how this looks. All right. The land has to be even on both sides. Have we done that? Oh, okay. Let me imagine it. That doesn't leave much room for one or the other. I think we need to move it up a little bit. All right. So what I mean by that is that it doesn't leave much room for the crafting or kitcheny part of it. So we need to... Move it up a little bit. Okay. 
okay and then fill in this area I'm gonna fill that in and then fill this area up one because that gives that'll give maybe equal room to both dudes both sides I think that'll be better all right let me imagine it again okay we're gonna say okay and now we're gonna pay our dude Yay. Okay. All right. And now we can continue making our river look a little bit diagonal. And that will be just super. I've abandoned my project for, for a few moments this morning so that we could check out Tia's house. She is home and we want to catch her before she gets out and starts running around. I also decided to change things up and wear the outfit that I bought over at Abel's yesterday. So I've put on my crew socks and my sneakers and got my hair up in a ponytail and we are ready to run. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day full of sunshine and we are dressed for it <laughs> so let's go see what the inside of Tia's beautiful house looks like Tia oh look at what a nice floor and she just happened to pop up there well look at the nice little kitchen she's got set up of course she's got a teapot <laughs> How cute is that? She got a little coffee sign. That is so cute. And look, her little table kind of matches the lace outside. Thanks for coming by. What's the latest? I couldn't believe it when I heard about all the work you did around here yesterday, Shamelin. It must have taken forever to dig out those new waterways. <laughs> You bet, and I'm not done yet today, Tia. I have more work to do. Well, she's got the prettiest little house. Oh my goodness. It puts mine to shame. I'm going to have to redecorate some of mine. Spork still has weeds all about. <laughs> he, he really needs to mow his grass. <laughs> Oh, we haven't seen Mint in a while, and I saw Ed over in the park. Um, we haven't talked to Ed in a while either. I know he's got some new guests over at the Airbnb. Oh, there went a bug. I don't know what our Nook Miles goals are, but I think um, we probably have Gulliver somewhere on the beach because Isabel has warned us about him today. Um, we are definitely needing to get our construction hat on and try to finish this river. If I can't make it work, uh, we might think of something else. Now, we got this bridge to kind of coordinate with the castle. So, um... We'll probably use, we might use the, um, the gray stone over here on this part. I haven't decided if this is going to be the craft part or the cook part. I think we need to back up one more on that. Hmm. Nope, maybe one more.
Yeah, we won't be able to get through over here, but we will be able to get through over here. And then, that looks pretty good. Might want to fill that in. Can we soften that up a little bit? Yeah. Well, that doesn't look too bad on that side. All right, now on this side, all right, we need to get rid of some of this. And soften it up a little bit. Hmm. There. Well, that doesn't look too bad. It's kind of a faux river, but it's the divider that we needed um, for to separate the, the two sections. Um, let's see. I may want to take this all the way to... We can't get through there, but we can get through around the lamppost. And I always have trouble remembering that and always end up trying to go that way but um, if we widen that part of the river it might look better and then just soften this one up a little bit yeah I think that'll work I think that looks pretty cool and even could take this out a little bit more. Hmm, I'll have to try to decide on that. I think that looks pretty good though. And then it kind of just tapers off. Yeah. That's okay. Now, I have to decide. Um, is this going to be the craft? And this the cook? I think it makes more sense to be, make this the craft since it's next to the Bamboo Folk Art Center. And we could... Hmm. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I want to make it a part of the Folk Art Center. Or the castle. I guess we could kind of do both. Let's see. Hmm. And bring it over to the bridge. Yeah, that'll work because it matches the bridge. Yeah, that's nice. This will be the crafting area. All right, so there's our crafting area. <laughs> that, yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna put down some more stonework. And then I'm going to take down all of these if I can get them. I think I can. And I'm going to make the cliff one bigger because I need to have a cliff on this property. Okay. And then I'll put the stone work back on to go in front of it. Well, I took a break <laughs> to to run over. Uh oh, my pockets are full. I knew that. Um, I took a break to run over and um, check on the shed and and get rid of some dotted lines. Where did they go? Uh, Murphy and Spork were over here dancing around. 
And now I don't see hide nor hair of them. Where did they go? That is so weird. Because they were right here. They were both. They're Spork. Oh, he's not dancing anymore. And I don't know what happened to Murphy. <laughs> they were both dancing. It was so cute. Darn. Missed it. All right. Oh, there's Murphy. He's looking for bugs. Let's see if we can put these vines back up. Okay. So now the vines are up. There's a walkway. I think I might widen that. Because it just kind of it it just leads um, away from the area into the back alley behind the resident services. So I was going to plant flowers back here, but I think the best thing to do is put in the walkway. It looks real good with that green <laughs> and so and then we'll kind of just connect over here yeah by by oops by doing this and that way when you come off the bridge you have some place to go so there'll be very little green in this area but that's okay because it's supposed to be a crafting area so I did get the toolbox, a tool, yeah, I think we'd have to run all the way over to Harv's to um, see if we could get this tool shelf customized. But I, I really don't want to go to all that trouble. So if this is the crafting area, then we're just going to have this tool shelf here and then over here we'll have the hmm, I had a school lockers and let's see do I want to turn that around just because it would look better I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, you can't get too close to the bridge. But we'll go ahead. Since this is the crafting area, you need to have a place to keep all your stuff. I don't think I like the look of that. I wish it could get closer to the bridge. But if that's the case, then I'm going to put it maybe over here. Maybe it'll it'll sit closer. Yeah. All right. So, let's see. This is the crafting area. And I think what I'll do, uh, did I pick up my shed or did I leave it? Let's see. Because I really need it. Alright, let's see. Since it's a crafting area, what we're going to do is we're going to get some... Let's see. Maybe not wood. We'll get some clay. We'll get some rocks, we'll get some iron, and we'll get some weeds and sticks. All right, let's see. I think we're only going to be able to get two things on this bench, but I'm hoping three. But I, I don't know that that will work. So we'll put clay up there, we'll put iron up there, I would like to put rocks also, but yeah, see, okay. 
So, <laughs> we need another table. And maybe a smaller DIY over here. All right, let's go back to the shed. All right. We're going to put the DIY. There it is. Oh. That's not the one I thought. All right, I must have another one. Cute DIY. Okay. That definitely. I don't know about the red, but yeah, definitely. We're leaving that there. And we're going to put a table over here. Project table. Uh oh, there's no room to put anything. A project table. Very good. And we'll put some rocks. And we'll put some weeds. Okay, good. And then, ha <laughs> ha I think this other table is probably too big. The iron work table. Oh, that's not really too big. We'll just have an assortment <laughs> because nothing matches. And we'll put the sticks. And... That's all kitchen stuff. We did have the spinning wheel and the loom. Oh, the paint cans. Okay, good. Paint cans. <laughs> yeah, all right. So that's the crafting area. And then this will be the cooking area. Cooking and crafting. Cooking and crafting. Let's see. Cooking. Do we have a good floor for cooking? I'll say... Let's try this. It's kind of... a utility looking floor. And we're going to be doing a lot of cooking. have our different areas. We'll come down. We'll come around. We don't want it to block the the um, airport. So we're going to have a pathway here. And what should it be? Well, Maybe the brick. At least we're wearing some cool clothes for working. We're not going to get too hot. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Obviously not getting any help or cooperation from my neighbors today. <laughs> Oops. All right, Murphy. If you got something to say, say it. And I think we'll put flowers and a fence here. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to put flowers there and a fence. And those purple tulips would look really nice. And then we can decide what fence. All right. 
Right, and so what kind of fence? Hmm... And this actually butts up against acre 17. So we could do a fence and another row of purple flowers and we'll just say they'll just have to lump it. Um, <laughs> because that's what we want to do. Murphy, if you want to help, just say so. <laughs> but if you don't, stay out of the way. <laughs> Stay out of the way. All right. There. And you can't really tell what kind of fence it is. It's just yellow, and that'll be okay. Hey, there's Mint. She's watering them already. How nice of her. We're going to put one, two. Three, four. And five. Well, that'll be that'll be pretty in front and you know we might have to just do another brick pattern over here okay so that that's our symmetry there and then this little bridge work oh hello mint posh tom tome i was hoping you'd come over and say hello The food on the island is so good, I eat way too much. Good thing I love taking long walks. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. So we have a little kitchen area that we need to do. So I'm going to say... The stonework kitchen I've done in a darker color. Let's see. Can we push it? Yes. Okay. And then over here... I don't know. The ranch kitchen probably won't fit. The brick oven... Well, that's no fun. If we turn it... Hmm... Let's push it. All right. All right. And then I think we need to get a little fridge and some other things around and maybe we'll even put some tables on the beach. Here's a, me a message from Allie. It's a wooden chair. I'll bet we know it. We sure do. Okay. So, while we develop this little area... Oh, everybody's loving it. Look at that. Doors over your fishing. Tia was trying out the bridge. <laughs> she went to sit with Mint. Mint is not very friendly when you first get to know her, Tia. So... Give her some time. I'm sure if she knew you better, she would not have gotten up and ran away. Just tell her, Pashtam Tome, and maybe she'll tolerate you. Anyway, so this is our this is our crafting area. If you need some clay or stones or iron or weeds or sticks or paint, this is the place for you. There's two crafting tables. So we had to have one cliff, cooking and crafting, and a bridge. And so we decided to diagonally divide our acre because it was such a strange shape anyway that I think I want to put in a little refrigerator and maybe a table with some stuff on it. But we bricked out a walkway from the airport 
and added some flowers in and a fence. So we'll finish filling this area out and bringing it down to the beach to make the beach a little more integrated into our design. And we'll revisit this next time. I hope that we get to finish it soon. And that just means we'll get to move on to Acre 17, which is just the opposite of the one we just did. Except that it goes all the way to the shore, so it has some extra room. So maybe whatever that next acre is, goes starts back here. And goes all the way around to the beach. We've got a lot of weeds and flowers to move. <laughs> we have our work cut out for us. But until then... We're going to work on finishing up some little details in the craft and cooking area on Acre 16 that we kind of integrated into the castle. So please join us again next time. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. Bye for now. Please join Shamelin and her neighbors, Dora, Murphy, Plucky, Camel Frog, Rattle, Spork, Ed, Mint, Fauna, and Tia. See you soon!